everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anastasia. I'm a brand and web designer from Canada. And in this video, we will be designing a logo and brand identity for a beauty salon. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on so you can get notified when I post similar videos about the design. I'm just going to give you a quick overview and share with you the table of contents for this video so you know what to expect. At first, I will discuss the creative brief for this project and also we will have a look at the mood board, followed by designing the logo in Adobe Illustrator, which will include finding and refining the fonts for the logo and also hand drawing the logo icon using a tablet and a stylus. And finally, I will share with you how I present the project to a client. So make sure to watch till the end to see the final project presentation. Before we start designing the logo, we are going to analyze and go through the creative brief for this project. And also we are going to look at the mood board that is going to visually show the style of the brand we are going to design based on the mood board and also the creative brief requirements. We are going to design a logo that is going to feel light and natural. To do that, we are going to use pastel colors throughout the whole brand identity and imagery. And also, we want the logo to look very feminine and elegant as the main customers that are going to be using the beauty salon services are going to be females. To make the logo look feminine, we are going to use light cursive fonts as the main font for the logo. The last requirement for the logo is we want the logo and print identity to be in Bohemian style. Bohemian style, also called Boho style, which incorporates very laid-back vibes, a different mix of colors, textures and patterns. Here on the mood board, we got a few examples of the Boho style. To incorporate the Bohemian style into the logo and brand identity, I'm going to hand draw some design elements. So it's going to give it laid back vibes. And also we're going to use similar imagery to what we have on the mood board. So as the business name of this beauty salon is Fresh as a Daisy, we are going to be using an illustration of a daisy flower as the main element in the logo. So let's go back to the mood board. As you can see, I got a few examples of daisy flowers here. So I'm going to take the inspiration from those flowers and use it to design the icon for the logo. And now we can move forward and start designing the logo in Adobe Illustrator. One of the most important things in the logo is typography. So I'm gonna go to a font101 website or font space website and I'm going to try to find some beautiful cursive fonts. So I have found some cursive fonts and I placed them into the Illustrator artboard. I have aligned them next to each other so you can compare and visually see which font would look the best with the idea I have envisioned and also which font would fit the best with the creative brief and the style we are going for. Within this stage, we are going to refine the typography for the logo. Let's have a look at those five fonts that I have picked and discuss them. The first font looks like it was made with a tool brush. It looks a bit too thick to me, so I don't think I will be using this font, as it doesn't really fit with the style we are going for. The second font looks very light and elegant. I would definitely consider this font as the main font in the logo. The third font has a little bit thicker stroke. The font looks a little bit bulky, so I don't think I will be using it in the logo. The fourth font is a very light handwritten font, but I think this font makes it a little bit harder to read the business name. I'm going to try to use it later in the logo and see how it looks like. The last font looks very clean and it's very easy to read the business name. I would definitely consider using this font and also the second font in the logo. I'm just going to move those fonts to the side so I can use them later in the project. As we finalize the font, the next thing we will have to do is to design an icon for the logo. As I want to make the icon look more elegant and custom, I'm going to be hand drawing the flower using a tablet and a stylus. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator to draw a flower. And the main tool I will be using to draw a flower is a tool brush. I opened Adobe Illustrator on my tablet and the first thing I'm going to do is to create an artboard. As I said earlier, I will be using a brush tool to draw a flower. You can find the brush tool in the left toolbar. 
as you can see the stool brush looks a little bit rough on the ends and we want to make the brush stroke a little bit smoother so we are going to create a custom brush to do that in the toolbar select an ellipse shape and draw the thin ellipse shape that looks like this fill in the shape with the color by switching the color on the left toolbar the next thing we will do is open up a brush tab that you can find on the right hand side or you can find it in the windows tab on the top when you open the brush settings you will get a pop-up and here we are going to create a new brush by clicking on the icon that is located on the right bottom hand side of the pop-up you will get another pop-up and here you will have to select an art brush and then click OK. You will get a whole set of options where you can rename the brush and adjust the settings. For the most part, we will leave all the settings the same. In the colorization section, we will need to make sure that it's set to tints. It means that the brush will be set to black as a default. And then click OK. And now we can test out the brush that we just created. The brush looks much nicer now. And now I'm going to place the picture of the flowers that I'm going to be drawing as a reference. And now watch me draw the flower using a custom brush that we just created. So when the flower is done, I'm going to take the Illustrator file and move it to my computer. And now I'm going to combine the text with an icon and see how I can make them look good together. The flower looks kind of empty, so I'm going to add the color inside the flower. I'm going to use the color gold as the main color. To find the color palette, I'm going to go to Adobe Creative Wheel, which is a great tool to find various color palettes for any type of the project. I will go to Explore tab and in the search bar I will type in the color gold. So it generated quite a bit of color palette examples. So I'm going to go through the page and try to pick the colors that I like. And then I'm going to paste the color swatches to the artboard. Using these color swatches, we are going to create a gold gradient. To do that, at first I'm going to draw a rectangle and then go to a gradient tab. Using an eyedrop tool, I will select the color that I want that specific point to be in the gradient. To make this gradient look kind of like gold color, I'm going to uh, make the sides of the gradient darker color and the middle of the gradient lighter in color. When the gradient is done, I'm going to make the middle part of the flower. I'm going to use a curve tool and draw a ellipse shape that is going to represent the middle of the flower. The flower looks much better now. The golden gradient made the flower look like an actual daisy flower. Looking at the logo, it looks kind of empty. So I'm going to add some design elements. I will add a few lines to the flower using a pen tool. I'm going to try to make some kind of pattern out of those lines.
I'm going to create a pattern on one side and then I'm going to uh, reflect it to the other side. To do that, at first we need to group the lines. To do that, at first we have to select them and then group the objects by using a shortcut, Ctrl G. Then I'm going to reflect the pattern to the other side. To do that, right click on the object and then you will get a drop down menu. Under Transform, click Reflect, which is going to reflect the object. And then we are going to move the lines to make sure everything is aligned with each other. The last thing that is left to do is to add a tagline to the logo, which is going to be a beauty salon. I'm going to make the text in light font. Then I'm going to make the font all caps by going into the character tab on the top bar and then selecting all caps option. And then we're going to increase the letter tracking. It means the spacing between each letter. It's very important to do so it will be easier to read the text as the th this text is going to be a little bit smaller than the main text. To increase the letter tracking, go to the same tab, character tab, and we are going to increase the number on the letter tracking option. So I think this logo looks very good and clean. And now I want to try to use different fonts in the logo. So I can view all options and see which font would look the best with the logo. To see all different font variations of the logo, we are going to duplicate the logo. And then to change the font, we are going to use an eyedrop tool. You can find an eyedrop tool on the left sidebar. And then we are going to eyedrop the fonts and it's going to automatically switch the fonts to the one that we just eyedropped. Looking at those fonts, I really like the first font because it looks the cleanest and it's very easy to read the business name. The logo is done, I love how it turned out and the next step we'll be doing is creating the logo presentation to a client. So the client can visually see how the logo would look like on the top of an image and the graphics. And now watch me creating different variations of the graphic. I made a few variations of the logo so the customer can see how the logo can be used on top of the image or graphics. These graphics are used to show the client the final logo and also the client can use it on Instagram or any other social media platforms to showcase the logo. These graphics have to embody the overall business's vision. The graphics have to be cohesive. It means that we need to ensure that the graphics look consistent it means that we have to use the same colors, typography, and also similar graphics and imagery. Here you can see that I created graphics that clearly represent the overall business's style and vision. And now let's see the final logo presentation.
I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of designing this logo for a beauty salon. And I hope you learned some new techniques and tools in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know in the comments below if you got any questions about Adobe Illustrator tools or the process. I would be happy to answer your questions. If you enjoyed watching, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to turn the notification bell on, so you can be the first one to get notified when I post new videos about the design. If you want to follow my story and see the behind the scene work, please make sure to follow me on my Instagram. Make sure to check out some of my other design tutorials, where I will share the useful tools I use in Adobe Illustrator and also the process. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.